city of Vernon has handed its license on the term Ogopogo back to the Okanagan Nation. The city had actually owned the copyright on use of the word since the 1950s. And with summer just around the corner and time spent back at the lake, we thought we'd hit the streets and ask some locals, do you believe in Ogopogo? Of course I do. I was born in Kelowna and I've been looking out at the lake since I was little. Absolutely. Have you ever uh, seen anything unusual in the water? I have. Um, my grandparents live on the lake and I remember one day my brother and I were sitting there and this head came out of the water. I don't think it was Ogopogo, maybe a sturgeon. I don't know what it was, but we didn't go in the lake the rest of the summer. So I'm a little bit more skeptical. Obviously, I'm not from here. I've heard stories. Um, I like to think there's something like that in there, but I'm not too sure. Have you ever uh, seen anything that you couldn't explain in the lake? Uh, one time, no wonder, then I realized it was a girl with no bathing suit. Sounds like a bit of a rip off of the Loch Ness. <laughs> yes, I do believe in the Ogopogo. Have you ever had an encounter? No, I haven't. I do. I think he's out there, for sure. Have you ever <laughs> seen anything unusual in the lake? Yeah, I have. I don't know, can't be sure if it's him or not, but... Tell me a bit about it. Um, I've seen a few times where it's been like ripples in the water, and I like to tell myself it's Ogopogo. It could just be crazy, but okay. of course. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, have you had an encounter yourself? Um, no. Just I, I know that he's there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. For Castanet News, I'm John Manchester in Vernon.